This, 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 this show is brought to you by Safety FM. Well, it's Friday, so you already know this is going to be a Safety FM mini episode. You're listening to Safety FM Min. This episode of the broadcast and the podcast is brought to you by Safety Focus Moment. They're consultants that want to help you get the safety culture you've been looking for. For more information, go to safetyfocusmoment.com. Well, hello and welcome to this edition of Safety FM Mini. As you have noticed over the last few months, we've been talking more and more on these mini episodes when it comes related to the stuff related to psychology. And today will be no different. So let's talk about this real quick because I want to really touch on this because it's something that I think that's important and it's nature therapy. What is it and why do so many psychologists recommend it? Nowadays, as you have seen over the last few months, going to therapy seems to be quite common. Psychology is generally in one of the areas of study that most development in the last few decades if you start taking a look at it and due to the growing interest in the subject we constantly find newer ways for our brains to be connected to different aspects in life one of the connections which is which we started exploring in the recent years is between humans and nature now think about that there are some people that are out there that really adapt to nature just depending on where exactly they are located although we all know that we have entangled with our environment we started understanding that using the benefits only recently which is how nature therapy was born so what is nature therapy the definition of nature therapy is relatively simple it is the practice of being in a natural environment in order to boost your mental health there are a few different types such as adventure therapy rafting skiing climbing and more similar activities done outside meditation meditation and meditating in parks and gardens beaches etc animal assisted therapy playing with dogs cats rabbits etc looking at birds squirrels and other wildlife art therapy drawing landscape uh, sculpting wood decorating leaves rocks and more green exercises such as running doing yoga cycling outdoors in parks gardens yards etc and then, of course, there's wild, uh, wild wilderness one, which consists of camping, hiking, climbing mountains, and visiting waterfalls. So many people try different approaches to find the one that fits them best, which it does make sense. All of these can be done w- with a professional therapist that recommends them or if there are something that you're willing just to participate in with an organization or a group or as planned a trip as as a patient themselves there are many more ideas that can be done as this type of therapy but these are the most common ones so it's something to think about if you have not given this thought to doing something along these lines think about nature therapy the next time that you're giving any kind of consideration of doing any kind of therapy in general anyways i have been your safety manager and host jay allen and until next time be safe The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and its guest and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the company. Examples of analysis discussed within this podcast are only examples. They should not be utilized in the real world as the only solution available as they are based only on very limited and dated open source information. Assumptions made within this analysis are not reflective of the position of the company. No part of this podcast may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, mechanical, electronic, recording, or otherwise without prior written permission of the creator of the podcast, Jay Allen.